So we just had a massive pullback here for crypto.com the coin. So what is happening here? Is this crypto.com's fault or did something else happen? Today I'm going to explain to you what just happened here to this coin and what's going to happen to the future of crypto.com. So I recommend you guys to watch the entire video. And of course, if you do enjoy it, I mean, search me if you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Let's go and see what actually happened here to crypto.com. So here we are on the chart. As you see, crypto.com did break to the downside of my double triangles here. Both of my triangles, it did go down. We actually reached at one point at 0.36. So if you do remember yesterday, we were at 0.69 and now we're all the way down here. How much did we decrease? Basically by 50%, 47% here. But as you can see, people did, a ton of people actually did buy the dip here. And now we're back all the way here to 0.55. Why did we crash? What happened here? Where it is? We have a couple of reasons, but mostly because I'm going to show you guys here. We got two main reasons here. It says your crypto crash, 570 billion wiped off market cap after major sell off over regulation fears. One of the reasons is the regulation fears. So in America, they're having like new regulations about crypto and how it's going to work, about the tax and everything. So people are getting scared just because of that. Also, one more reason is this right over here. It says Bitcoin plunges over 20% in another sign of global market nerves. Now, somebody said here, markets have also been jittery with all the uncertainty around the new virus variant. So with cases now appearing in many countries, it's hard to say what that means for economy economies and markets and hence the uncertainty. So because of the new variant that's been happening in the world, people are scared and uncertain of the future possibilities because we, we could be seeing more lockdowns in the future day by everything should be changing. Now, so what happened here? Is this the fault of crypto.com? What happened in the end? Basically, not only did crypto.com go down, but the whole market just had a massive pullback, like a massive crash here. And basically every single crypto is going down right now. So what is happening? Is it, did we enter the bear market? Is it the end of the bull market? What is the next step? What do I think is going to happen? Now, of course, I'm not a financial advisor guys, but these are some of my predictions here. So please do your own research to find out what actually happened here. So biggest reason why crypto.com did go down is because of Bitcoin. So Bitcoin did crash here. Bitcoin did decrease. If we do measure this basically in just the last couple of hours here, uh, yeah, in the last 16 hours, they did go down by, by 26%. So we had a crash. It did go down all the way to $42,000. And now we're all the way back here to $47,000. 47 and $300. So there you go. So massive pull up because of fear of regulations, because of fear of the new thing that's happening in the world. And just because, and also it looks like the stock market's the same thing. So I don't know if we, if we had a massive pullback like crypto here, but what's been ha happening in the stock market is that a lot of CEOs have been changing. So, new, so big companies are changing their CEOs. And plus again, the uncertainty and everything. So pretty much everything is super unstable right now. But now the question is, is this the end? Like, is this the end of the bull run? Are we entering the bearish market right now? Well, we have a couple of things we need to watch out for that, but it is a possibility that we are entering the bearish market. But I believe we're still not in that bearish market. We're still pretty much okay. Now, why? It's because people still bought the dip. So this is something really important. People bought the dip. In the end, you have to check this out because Bitcoin did go up here by 12%. So people did buy here in the end. People bought at 42,000. They got Bitcoin here for super cheap because if Bitcoin goes back to its all time high, but it basically go from here to here, it's 65%, 63% increase. And if it reaches like $100,000, then it's even more, of course. Same thing here with crypto.com. If you just reach, if you go back to the all time high, boom, it's 170% increase for people if we do go back to the all time high of these coins. So there you go. A lot of people did buy the dip, of course. If you do measure this from here to here, people bought 51%. So people bought a ton of crypto.com coins here. Really, really good to see. Now, I'm gonna show you something here, and that is, I do like to follow Crypto Russ, uh, 
for Bitcoin here because he, he he is pretty bullish for Bitcoin, but he really gives us all the news, all what's happening. I'm not seeing any videos right now, not only from him, but from anybody. I've been seeing some live streams talking about everything. The thing is, I think people are gathering information, trying to understand what is happening. Of course, there's mo maybe even more factors. I'm waiting for his video to understand even more. Of course, guys, I'm doing my own research and so should you. That's the whole point here. We all have to do our own research to find out what's been happening here. But look at this. El Salvador, the president here, bought the dip. So he bought the Bitcoin dip. He actually bought for 48000 So he said here, I think that he almost... He didn't get it. He yeah, says missed the effing bottom by seven minutes. He didn't get the bottom. There you go. But still 40, 48,000 and when the price was basically at 50 something, 53 I think at the time. He got it for pretty cheap, but of course it's even lower right now. So civilization. Right now, if you look at this, it's super over oversold. So because it's oversold, when people wake up right now, when people start waking up and uh, other part of the world starts to see what's been happening, they'd be able to purchase the dip. So it's the weekend right now. I believe people should be able to purchase more. So look at this, our size is super oversold. But that means that people are ready to buy. It should just mean that people are ready to buy. In the end, what's going to happen here? Or like what's happening? Is that I believe we just extended, like I think in the long term, this is really good. If we continue to go up, if we do not break below the $42,000 area here for Bitcoin, then there is a good chance that we just extended this bull run. But another month, month and a half. So something like this is happening right now. If we slowly continue to go back up, what is super crucial here? Bitcoin needs to reach the 53k area again. So we, it needs to go all the way back to this level somehow. So back to 53k. If we do that, we're going to be in a much, much better position where we could be able to go up and increase even more, hitting the all-time high and maybe even passing all-time high and reaching $100,000 per Bitcoin. Now, how do we extend the bull run? Like I said, if we continue to go up, this is going to take some time, guys. For us to increase again, like if we do measure this this area here, this took like 20 days for Bitcoin to reach this level here. So it's going to take, a, again, a lot of time here for us to go back to the all-time high. Again, maybe even like 15 to 20 days to reach that all-time high. Day by extending the bull run if we continue to go up. If we don't, if we break down even below this area, then it's going to be a problem. We still have a couple of chances here to survive. I think... 30, yeah, 39 here. 39 is also a good nine number here. 39 point, yeah, 39,000 is a good number here where we could also maybe survive. The last one we have is the $29,000 for Bitcoin. But the also a big problem that I'm seeing here, maybe we could be forming something like this, where this should be looking like a giant head and shoulders and where we are going to break down even below. But hopefully that is not something that's for me here. But for now, we can't really know because that's super far away in the future. So hopefully we're still in that bull run. Now, why is it good that we are still in the bull run? It's because you're going to have a ton more opportunities to purchase other coins. And basically, if we do make a reversal, then every single coin is at a super discount right now. Like people who bought the dip... Just got it for super cheap right now. Every single coin here. Like even Cardano just been breaking here really bad. But um, even Cardano here. So many coins are super cheap right now. Look at it. Look at Ethereum here. Massive flash crash here for Ethereum here. And so many other coins. So this is what's super important right now. Uh, if we somehow do be able to continue. If we are able to continue to go up. Then... People who bought the dip, they bought at the cheapest price we're going to ever get in the next like couple of months here because I do believe we're going to continue to go up. But if we do continue to go down, then it's, yeah, then, then just the bull run is over. We can't really know what's going to happen now because nobody's talking about anything. Okay, they are talking about it on Twitter, but nobody's making videos. There's no general thesis what's been happening. So we need more info. When we get more info, it's going to be a lot easier. But I'm just bringing you guys this video to make it a little bit easier for you guys to understand what just happened and what could happen here in 
the future. But yeah, guys, in the end, I'm not a financial advisor. If you do want to invest into these coins, please do your own research first. If you did enjoy this video, I mean, so much to me. If you can like this video, comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video.